the earth, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us uh, this opportunity and this privilege, Lord God, to touch and agree uh, with the people of God. Lord God, because we have, we, we have designated this time and committed ourselves to this time, Lord God, we, we're, we're thankful for you allowing us to enter into this sacred assembly what we will call upon your name, Lord God, this sacred assembly where we will repent of our sins, this sacred assembly, Lord God, where our lives will be changed, Lord, this sacred assembly, Lord God, where we will beg and plead with you, Lord God, that you would touch in the name of Jesus and heal our land, this sacred assembly, Lord God, where you will do something extraordinary and something supernatural in each one of our hearts, in our sphere of influence, in our family, Lord God, that, that this prayer meeting this evening will truly make a difference, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that as prayers go up this evening, Lord God, that the angels in heaven will stop and, and stand still and, and recognize that they are about to be given an assignment uh, to come to this earth to do miraculous things, Lord God, that only you can do. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus for every church represented here this evening, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you'll give us that 100 participants, Lord God. We, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God that if healing is needed this hour among us, Lord God, we pray that healing would manifest itself, Lord God. If breakthroughs are needed this hour, Lord God, we pray that breakthroughs will manifest itself. But Lord God, we're looking to you, Lord God, to do something supernatural in our midst. So Holy Spirit of God, we know that you are always on red alert, Lord God, and we are honored today, Lord God, to bring to your attention, Lord God, the needs of this land that we're in. We give you the honor, we give you the glory, we give you the praise, and we bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just wanna just wanna amen. quickly wanna quickly go over some uh, go over some housekeeping items and um and then we're gonna we're gonna jump right jump right in, in into prayer again. If you have just tuned in, you've just tuned in. We're asking everyone. We're already about to hit the hit the fifty mark because you all have been inviting other folks to join in with us. We're about to hit the fifty mark, but in order for us to get to a hundred, we got to keep on inviting people of God. Amen. But uh, just a, a few housekeeping items. If you are not speaking. We're asking that you keep your mic muted. That's that way we can keep the keep the sound down, and we will be be certain that the video quality uh, that will come as a result of this 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 prayer gathering would be very good. Would be very good. Also, also we want to uh, want to remind you that we are we, we're blessed this evening to have uh, three uh, sponsors that are actually on the line with us right now. We have, and you'll hear from them uh, throughout our time together. We have the Madeline Law Group, and we'll be hearing from, from uh, Brother Greg Williams, and we have uh, Dr. Alan Mandel that's uh, been with us for a while, and we'll be hearing from Hazel Morrow, uh, a marketing marketing company. And, and I, just, I share that with you because we've been blessed. They have provided us with some door prizes that we will be doing a drawing. We'll be doing a drawing toward the end of the service. So the only only challenge with that is that we would need a name that will appear like all of the participants' names. We are writing down those names and we'll be doing a drawing. We have a, a grand prize, a grand prize of a smart television. If, if, if that will not encourage folks to join in with us, I don't know what. We have a grand prize of a smart television. We have some gift cards and those are being provided by the Madeline Law Group. And we have some, uh, some gift baskets uh, that, will be, that will be made available uh, as well. So again, we want you to in, enjoy this time, this time of, of, of fellowship, this time of, of, of sharing. 
also want to uh, want want to uh, make sure you're 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 aware that uh, that as we kick off as we kick off this this prayer gathering, there will be a, the blowing of the shofar. I'm, I'm going I'm going into the program now. The blowing of the shofar, and just want to want want to want want to make sure we all are on the same page uh, as we as we share the program here. We have the blowing of the we have the blowing of the shofar, and that will take place at, at, at immediately, at, immediately after uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sister Hannah Baker uh, sings. Uh, brother, uh, uh, Sister uh, Phyllis White will open us up in uh, some scripture readings, followed by just an overall welcome uh, comments by uh, by our president, Dr. Maurice Rutherford. And then we will go into a, a special selection. Uh, then there's a there's a there's a call to prayer. Again, that's the blowing of the shofar by, by brother Seth Merlin. Immediately after that, uh, Pastor Gregory Williams will usher us into a time of prayer. Following following him will be Pastor Daryl Baker. He'll be praying of, of repentance and. And following Daryl Baker will be Pastor Terrell Scott. Uh, and then Bishop uh, Dr. Evan Grant will uh, do the prayer of the nation. Now, I want you to know that uh, we are obviously not in a church where we can, we can take an offering and, and receive an offering. But what we've done, we've made some uh, uh, arrangements for you to give virtually. That's right, people of God, that you will give virtually. And so we have two ways that you can participate in giving and you can do it now, you can do it when we get to that point, but we have cash app available, the information is on the screen and we have Zelle available and the information is there. And so you can give, what, what is so challenging about, about, about radio ministry is that it's very expensive, people of God, it's very expensive. And, and so we wanna keep the BSN a gospel ministry on the air. And so your giving this evening will truly help us, help us to keep the ministry on the line. Following that, after we come out of that time of, of giving, we have a, a special selections, actually uh, two special selections by uh, Reverend Hopi Brown and, and Minister Julian Plummer from All Nations New Testament Church. And then Pastor Eric uh, Robinson will do our uh, prayer for, prayer over our states, and and then following him we'll we'll have a prayer from Pastor uh, uh, Pastor Seaton Wilson from the Virgin Islands, and then a prayer for our counties and cities by Dr. Sonia Smith. Uh, then we go on. We'll hear from Nicholas uh, Bishop Nicholas Ferguson, a prayer of our churches. Uh, Pastor Jackie Hines, prayer for our families. And then we have another special selection for Sister, from Sister Andrea Davis. And then following, then, then, then following her, we have a prayer for our youth from pa uh, Pastor Gary Hoffaden. And then Bishop Winfield will do the uh, prayer of outreach efforts. And then we have a we have a unity prayer by Devin Rutherford. Uh, and and, and fo following him, we'll have a special selection by Sister Andrea Banner. And then there's a final prayer, people of God. And we, we, we could not leave this out. And that's a prayer of deliverance of this coronavirus. Amen. Prayer of deliverance of this coronavirus. But we're asking that you not leave because uh, we will uh, we'll have a door. We'll, we'll be... Uh, announcing the door prize winners uh, this 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 evening. So we're going to do it toward the end of the end of the service. So we're asking that you be present for that, and then there'll be some final closing remarks uh, from Dr. Uh, Dr. Maurice Rutherford. So that's the order. That's the order of our our service. If if a pastor is missing when we get to his section uh, or her section. We will uh, more than likely call out or call upon someone else uh, to do that to do that prayer uh, for us. So with that with, with that being said, we're going to go straight into our scripture our scripture reading of the of the evening and our scripture reading 
uh, will be uh, will be provided to us by our, by, our, by our dear sister evangelist Phyllis White. Sister White, go right ahead, please. Sister White, you're on. I believe she might have a little issue unmuting her phone back. Evangelist Phyllis White. Sister White, you're there. Sister White, you're with us. Did she drop off? Is she still on? Yes, she's still on, Dr. Bacon. But I believe she is having an issue on music. Can you Go ahead. Go ahead. Sister White, go right ahead, please. Okay, uh, Sister White, we are uh, we are going to come back. We're going to come back to you. Hopefully, we can get that we can get that worked out. We can get that worked out. Uh, Dr. Dr. Rutherford, if you would go ahead and uh, give your walk. Second Chronicles seven, okay. and I'll be reading from verses five to verse. Go ahead, sis. Go ahead, sis. We'll come back. We'll come back to you, Dr. Rutherford. If you would go ahead and give your welcome, welcome comments, and we'll uh, we'll try her back. We want to just keep things moving. Welcome, 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 welcome. Good evening, good evening to everyone. Good evening, good evening to everyone. I am so excited. I just feel like I'm. I could keep on repeating what I'm about to say. But there is just this that I've always liked to say to our audience. When God called Moses, he said, Moses said, Lord, how can I do this? I'm not a good speaker. And the Lord said, don't you worry, I'll have your back. That's today's word, have your back. Well, let me tell you, when God called you, I want to encourage everyone to answer the call. Don't worry about how things is going to work. Just remember that you have called and follow as you go along. As you follow through, the road will be provided. provided. Everything you need to do, whatever your vision, the Lord will have an answer or will have someone to take you to the next step. Let me first again welcome everyone again. Dr. Baker, I remember the, the night when God called us together. We did not know each other. It was our first meeting. And he had a part of the, the puzzle, and I have a part of the puzzle. And as we speak, the Lord brings the vision to us. And that is when we get off. So, ladies and gentlemen, keep that in mind that when the Lord call you, nothing to worry about, but it's just to keep going. 
I want to welcome my bishop. I don't know if he's there as yet, Bishop Evan Grant. Uh, bishop, you're there. I know my son, Dr. Um, Devon, Pastor Devon Rutherford is there. And of course, the Lauderdale Manor Church, they have the entire church with them. Pastor Terrence Cat, yeah. uh, Minister Andrea, sis, Minister Carleen, and, and a whole host of others. And of course, I'm trying to get, I believe, Pastor Gary Huffin then is there. Um, Brother Lennox Campbell, Brother Fagan, glad to know that you tune in. All Nation team is there. I hope my bishop is there. And the rest of the folks, and you know, this is our first time doing a Zoom, so you got to just help us, forgive us, and we will just get better and better. And I'm sure my beautiful queen is there listening. Vanessa Clover, I hope you're still there and enjoying the program. To all, everyone who joins me on radio, I want to welcome you all. And because of time, we will get to come back and, and recognize everyone. Sister Elcyon, I'm not sure. And welcome you, my sister. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everyone, Grace Church, want to welcome all of you again. Um, Brother Spaulding and all the rest, Sister Mary. Everyone who is listening to my voice now, please accept our apology on everything because it's our first time doing Zoom and we're doing our best to get this done. I want to thank Dr. Baker again. Uh, well, he's the, the masterpiece behind the vision. I also want to, uh, I believe, Apostle Dr. Sona, I think she's coming through. And to everyone, I'm not going to take up more time because time is precious, but I want to welcome you. But my word for you tonight, if you are called, remember that, if you are called, even don't know what to do, answer to the call. When God called Moses, when God called Samuel, these are good examples. They did not know exactly what their task will be. But when you get your call, answer your call and then make sure that you follow. Pastor O'Connor, if you're there, I want to welcome you also. And everyone, Pastor Reverend Jackie Hines, everyone that is listening to me at the moment, whether you're a, a pastor or just a member, I want to welcome. I really appreciate it. It's our first night doing this. It's brand new to us. So we will do our best to continue. Dr. Baker, I'm going to put it back in your hand. You're doing a wonderful job. And we'll just get better and better. I see the chauffeur. I said, Melvin, he's ready to blow. Even it's time to for prior. Dr. Daryl Baker, you are second in charge over there. I want to thank you very much for being a part of what we're doing here tonight. God bless everyone. I'll be coming back. And of course, we want to welcome our sponsor, the Madeline Law Firm, Pastor Gregory Williams. What a gentleman he is. Dr. Um, Dr. Alan Mandel. I want to thank you, Dr. Mandel. He's never leave whatever I'm doing. For well, over 20 plus years, we've been together. Dr. Mandel, I want to thank you very, very much. And our new sponsor, uh, Miss Hazel Mirage, I uh, see with um, Grace Kennedy. Uh, what a beautiful young lady. She's very hardworking. And Dr. Um, Dr. Baker, I can keep going, but I know what is time. So if I miss you, my normal word, if I miss you, please forgive me. I'll do it the next time I'm on the air. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Rutherford, for, for those welcome, those words of welcome and those kind, kind gestures. This time we're gonna uh, we'll make a, uh, one more attempt to get the uh, scripture reading. Uh, Sister, are you there? Sister White, you're there. Go right ahead, please. Sister White, you're there. Go right ahead, please.
Okay. Dr. Rutherford, uh, what I'd like to do, uh, you can get her on your, you get her on your phone and, and uh, do what we did, uh, what we tested uh, the other day, please. Uh, we're gonna uh, wh while you're working while you're working on that uh, we're gonna go ahead and get uh, get in our first uh, our special selection uh, by S sister uh, Hannah Hannah Baker and then we'll go uh, straight into the scripture reading Dr. Rutherford if you can get that queued up we'll be ready uh, for the scripture readings immediately after Hannah go right ahead please Yeah, mute herself. Yes, I got, I got it. it. <laughs> you provide the fire, and I'll provide the sacrifice. You provide the spirit, and I will open up inside. You provide the fire, and I'll provide the sacrifice. You provide the spirit, and I will open up inside. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. You provide the fire, and I'll provide the sacrifice. You provide the spirit, and I will open up inside. You provide the fire, and I'll provide the sacrifice. You provide the spirit, and I will open up inside. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Fill me up until I overflow. I wanna run over. I wanna run over. Fill me up until I overflow. I wanna run over. I wanna run over. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. 
fill me up. Bless you, Jesus. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Praise. Let the church say amen one more time. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We'll jump straight into the scripture readings, Dr. Rutherford. You're ready. You ready? Scripture reading. Go right ahead, please. Go right ahead, Dr. Rutherford. I'm mute you. Hearing me. Yeah, unmute yourself. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Yeah, Dr. The, the, the volume is very low. Put it closer to the mic, please. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Turn it up, please. Turn it up, please. Yeah. Well, one more because 
says this is very effective and important. If my people, which are called by my name, I'm good. shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their life. Amen. 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 Gonna gonna uh, uh, request at this time that all of you will mute mute your uh, your computers, your uh, smartphone devices, and only the person that is that is praying will be the voice that we will. Um, that we will listen to. At this time, we will uh, enter into our, our time of prayer. We'll begin with the uh, with the sounding of the of the shofar, which uh, which uh, symbolically uh, gets the attention of heaven that something is about to happen. Uh, Brother Merlin, go right ahead, please. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. We, God bless you. We first of all give honor to God for this, this awesome occasion. We give honor to uh, these two great men of God, Dr. Baker and Dr. Rutherford, and uh, this amazing radio station. And I give honor to all these illustrious pastors and believers that are, that are part of this gathering tonight. We thank God. I'm going to go before the Lord in prayer as we realize uh, that God wants his people to pray. It is evident by the scripture that the, the woman of God read a little while ago, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then you shall hear from heaven and God will truly heal, heal our land. Um, Jesus was praying. We see it in the book of Luke, the very first chapter. And uh, it, the prayer was so potent and so powerful and, and it, it, it affected his disciples that was around him. And they said, Father, Jesus, uh, teach us how to pray. And I like that because they didn't ask him for houses and land and riches and all these uh, remedial things. They asked him, the Lord teach us how we can constantly stay be before your presence that we can constantly stay engaged with, that we can constantly communicate with you. And that's what we come here tonight. We want to engage with God. We want to be in his presence and we want to continue to stay in communication with him, not just for tonight, but for the rest of our lives. And so I'm honored tonight, Dr. Baker, for you giving me the opportunity to come before these great people of God and to call upon his name. Dear Lord God, Heavenly Father, we come before you thanking you for being who you are. We know, God, that you're always present. We know that you never leave us or forsake us. You said where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst. And so, God, to ask you to come here, we, it's no need because we know that you are here. We come corporately tonight, Lord, saying thank you. Thank you, O oh God, for allowing us to see another day that we've never seen before. Thank you, O oh God, for giving us strength. Thank you, O oh God, for giving us a mind to stay upon you. Thank you, O oh God, for giving us ears to hear your word. Thank you, O oh God, for giving us the lips to talk to you. We thank you, O oh God, for giving our hearts that are dedicated to your, to your work and to your will. Lord God, we need you tonight. And we cannot do nothing without you. Thank you for, for the scripture reading tonight. 
Thank you for the, the gentleman that blew the sofa. Thank you for little Hannah who came and, and blessed us in a great song. And we thank you, oh God, for the figureheads of this, this great, great organization. Lord, we are honored tonight, God. And Father God, if we know that if you be with you, be, be with us, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Lord, we come before you with a desire to be like Daniel, to always pray, to pray in season and out of season. Father God, we ask that you bless all that is going to come before you tonight and let them speak from their hearts, oh God. Let them speak to you in, in a way that only you and, and, and that individual can understand. Oh, Father God, we love you with an everlasting love. And thank you, O oh God, for forgiving us for all our sins. And thank you, O oh God, for your mercy and your grace that's always with us. Thank you, O oh God, for allowing us to look to the hills from whence come up our help. Because, Lord, we know that all of our help cometh from you. And we know that, that greater is you that's in us than anything that's in the world. Oh, Father God, we give you the honor, the praise, and we give you the glory for all those under the sound of my voice and those that are forthcoming in the name of Jesus. And we keep, we, we keep our minds stayed upon you because, God, we need perfect peace. And all these blessings we ask in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the sweet, majestic name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you all, brothers and sisters. Amen. 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 Pastor Darrell, go right ahead, please. Thank God for everyone that's on the line this evening. Prayer for repentance. Prayer for repentance. Let us go to the throne of grace this evening. Father, as we remember 9-11, Almighty God, we thank you and we praise you for your unending mercy and grace poured, about, poured out upon our nation and our world. You have delivered us in times of war. You have reunited us after conflict among ourselves and others, and you have filled our lives with such abundance, your blessing overflow throughout our borders. Yet, Father, we still have taken you for granted. We come before you now in desperate need for your forgiveness. We are seeking repentance for the people of this world. We confess that the liberty you has graciously gave us has become a license to do as we please. Our culture mocks you, Father. Our highest courts are esteemed above your word. We have traded genuine spirituality with temporary pleasures. True virtue for hollow celebrities. We teach our children self-indulgence, yet we stand mystified at the blood on their hands. We lust after material things, yet wonder why our souls are so empty. We lament the walls that divide us even as we segregate ourselves from one another, especially on Sundays when we are worshiping with one another. Yet these are some of the many sins and evil doings that we need to be in repentance for. Oh dearly, Holy Spirit, please help us, Holy Spirit. Help the people of this land Help us into repentance of our sins. Father, I ask you to revive our hearts, O oh Lord. Your presence 
is our only, only, only hope, your presence, Father. Impart to us your passion for the good, for good over evil that exists in this world, in this nation. Father, we humble ourselves and we are seeking your face. Forgive us, O oh God, and heal us. Father, heal our land. Father, our land is struck from sea to sea, from shore to shore. Father, but we ask you to make us one with you, Lord. Father, heal America. Heal our land. Make us become a beacon of hope for the world to see and to see you, a people free to serve you and one another in genuine love. Father God, hear this sinner's prayer for the repentance of our sin. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray and the people of God say amen, amen, and amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Uh, Pastor Scott, go right ahead, please. Amen. Father, we come before you tonight on behalf of our world. Lord, you have reminded us that we should call on you and you will answer us. And you will show us great and mighty things that we do not know of. So, Lord, we come approaching you on behalf of a world that is groaning and travailing for redemption. And, Father, as we come, we believe, Lord, that you are and will always be the healer, the curer, the restorer. And so I pray, Lord, that you would rebuke the devourer for the sake of your children all across this world. I pray, Lord, that you would restore the years that the canker worm has destroyed. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that righteousness will prevail from shore to shore across this globe of ours. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would cause that those who lead in places that are far flung, that, Lord, their hearts will be turned toward you. And as their hearts are turned toward you, Father, the populace as well will turn to you. And that, Lord, they would seek to walk according to your precepts and your dictates that, Lord, they would declare and determine to love mercy, to act justly, and to walk humbly before our God. Father, I pray tonight that you would cause that those around us and across this world that is experiencing the bitterness of life as it comes in different ways, that, Lord, even as Moses was instructed to throw a tree branch in the water and healing occurred, I pray, Lord, that you would remove the bitterness of the national and global Mara and cause in the name of Jesus Christ that people all around this world will look to Jesus Christ, the one who hung upon that tree. Lord, I pray that as they look to you, that they would be reminded, and we as well would be reminded of what you have told us, that if you be lifted up from this earth, you will draw all men to you. Father, I pray that you would cause that there will be revival fires breaking out all around, that those who seem to love the creature much more than the creator, that, Lord, you would cause that there will be something that, stirred, that will be stirred in their hearts and minds, and that, God, the love of Almighty God the love that you gave to us, that, Lord, that will be reciprocated. Lord, we come tonight 
asking that you would deliver, that you would restore. We're reminded, Lord, of your words as you began your ministry. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives at liberty, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. I pray across this world you'd find the broken hearts, Lord. You'd set the captives at liberty. And that the year of Jubilee, you proclaim once again that this is still the year of God's favor. And that God, others will come to embrace and to enjoy the blessings of God. Father, we thank you tonight that we are reminded from Malachi's word that unto those who fear your name, the son of righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. And so, Lord, as we seek to fear you, reverence you, to hold you in awe, and to declare your sovereignty and your supremacy, that, God, you would cause that healing will arise all around this world. Lord, we pray tonight that you would bless us together. And as our prayers go up to you, Father, we thank you that you'd open the doors and you'd make way for your children. <laughs> us in this gathering we ask tonight uh, and for all that we ask of you on behalf of our countries uh, in behalf of this world uh, we tell you thanks Lord and we ask in no other name but the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 The Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We bless his holy name. This time we're here from our dear Bishop, Bishop Dr. Evans Grant. Go ahead Bishop. Uh, Bishop Grant, you're there. Go right ahead, please. Um, Dr. Baker, is it possible Minister Julian can sing while we wait to find out what happened to Bishop? Yes, go right ahead, uh, Minister Julian. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. You know, tonight we can talk about God's faithfulness because through all of this, he still remains faithful unto us. And uh, I think this song is so fitting because it talks about how faithful our God is to us. So, great is thy faithfulness O oh god our father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changes not thy compassions they fail not as thou hast been and forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning new mercies i see all I have need, thine hands hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Summer and winter and springtime and harvest sun moon and stars in their courses above join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness 
endless mercy and love. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thine hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, on to me. Heart on for sin and a peace that endureth thy own dear presence to cheer and to guide strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow blessings all mine with ten thousand beside oh great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning new mercies i see all i have needed thine hands have provided great is thy Faithfulness, Lord, on to me. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies. I see all I have needed, thine hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, great is thy Lord, on to me. Amen. Let the church say amen. 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 One more time. And this is Julian Plummer, All Nation New Testament Church of God. Amen. amen. Bishop amen. Grant, go right ahead, please. Bishop, are you there? Well, you know, when 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 Abraham was going up and he couldn't find the sacrifice, but God always have a sacrifice waiting. Amen. We'll. Um, I believe we have Reverend Hopi Brown is standing in the gap. Reverend, are you there? Reverend Hopi, Bishop Evan. Reverend. They need to unmute their phone. Yeah, I see someone's trying to speak, but they need to unmute. Unmute your phone, please. Your your screen. There you go. Praise, praise God. Praise God. Yes, Dr. Maurice Rutherford, for them here. Yes. Um, uh, Bishop there. Bishop, are you there? Well, you are the sacrifice, so. I want to go on and represent all nation New Testament Church of God. Praise God. Praise God. I'm supposed to pray for the nations at this time. Praise God. Glory to God. Greetings to Dr. Baker and Dr. Maurice Rutherford, a man with a heart of gold. We give God praise for allowing us to commemorate this 9 11 as we pray to seek the face of Almighty God. We pray that Almighty God will have his way 
because without him, we are a complete failure. Without him, we can't make it. So we ask that he will just have his way in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, let us pray. Our Father and our God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we stretch our hands to thee. No other help we know. If you would draw yourself from us, where shall we go? You are the only helper we know. Hallelujah. The only hope we know. Hallelujah. The only source and our total supply, our refuge and strength, our very present help in the time of trouble, the wheel in the middle of the wheel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are our mighty fortress. You are God that has never lost the battle. You are our battle ox and our mighty man of war. Hallelujah. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we approach your mercy seat, oh God. We call upon you on behalf of this nation and all the nations across this globe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Righteousness is all a nation, but sin is a reproach to any man. And tonight as we come in the name of Jesus, I ask you to show up and show out. Oh, these days many are asking, where is God? But Almighty God, we know, is still in control. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's still in control of, the, of his universe. He's creator, sustainer. Hallelujah. And he's still the sovereign ruler. Hallelujah. And he's God and God alone and God all by himself. He transcends the heavens. He stretched out the heavens like a curtain. He sits on the circles of the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He commanded and he stood still his, his head and he came into being and this world belongs to him. He's still in control. Every nation belongs to him. So we ask for his divine intervention that he show up and show out in a supernatural way. That he set things in order. Those that are out of order, out of place, that he set it in order for his glory. That he saved to the uttermost. Those that are not saved, oh, save across this globe. Whatever continent your people are dwelling in at this time, we know there is no distance in prayer. And with you, God, all things are possible. Your hands are not short, neither is your ears heavy. That you cannot hear us. Oh, God Almighty, there's nothing that is too hard for you. So we ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you sure bring down principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in our places. We bring them down to now. But this Jesus Christ, he was manifested that you might destroy the works of the devil. I declare and decree that the works of the devil be destroyed. Over this region and over every region, every nation where your people are dwelling, God Almighty, you are God. You are God. And you must be worshipped. Hallelujah. You are as a true and living God. You seek it such to worship you. Have your way. Show up the same way you show for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Show up like a show for Daniel. Show up like a show for the patriots of whole God Almighty. You are immutable, the one that doesn't change. Hallelujah. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And we ask that you show up in this nation and the nations across this globe. We give you praise tonight in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Glory amen. to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless. Hey. Hallelujah. We Hallelujah. Bless. Amen. Oh, Lord. We bless the name Amen. of the Lord so much. This time again, I as I had earlier on, earlier on as we uh, begin our service, that this is an opportunity for you to uh, plant a seed in the BSN uh, Believer Strengthening uh, Radio Network. This is an opportunity right now. We have made available uh, two ways that you can certainly participate in, uh, in, in giving. There is a cash app uh, available and it simply uh, is a, do a dollar sign, Dr. Maurice Rutherford, Dr. Dollar sign, Dr. Maurice Rutherford in the cash app. If you key that in there, you will, uh, you will see him pop up. If you desire to give this evening through uh, through Zelle, a, a system that is made available, to, uh, the banking system, you can simply just key in 
The telephone number 954-275-081508. If you would uh, be kind enough this evening, we have several, uh, several pastors here with us. Maybe if all of us would uh, consider planting a $100 seed, it would certainly uh, go a long ways in keeping the radio gospel ministry on the on the on the air again those are those are two ways that you can participate this this evening in giving and supporting supporting the works of God again is that there's a cash app available again dollar sign dr maurice rutherford and uh there is zale available and you just simply have to key in the 9542750 one five zero eight one five zero eight one five. I'm going to have uh, if uh, if uh, Pastor uh, Greg Gregory Williams could pray over this offering as we are preparing ourselves to give at this time. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Baker. Thank you for the honor, Eternal God, our Father. We we know that many of your people are here to sow into this ministry. We want to be able to sow oh God in a way that you have given us, and we want to give back to such a ministry that's making such a great impact to so many lives. We ask that you bless all those that desire to give. We ask you to bless those that will give and go abundantly. And we know, God, we you said in your word, give and it shall be given back to you, pressed down, good measure, shaking that's and you? running over. And we ask you to, to do what you do, bless God, bless your people right now, and bless those that have a mind to, to sow into this great ministry. And let, let the sowing of this, this seed bring forth a great harvest. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Again, we uh, want, to, want to encourage everyone that is on, you can certainly give in your own way if you want to, uh, uh, plant a special seed, we're asking that all pastors will consider uh, planting a seed of $100. If, if, you can, if you can do better than that, certainly that's great. But if you are uh, you're unable to participate in it, give what you can give. Give what you can give. We are going to continue on with the service. Again, the information is there and uh, made, made, available, made, made available to you. I continue to reach out if you uh, just signed in. We're asking that all of our participants, everyone that is on with us this evening, if you would send out the same link that brought you to us, if you would send that out to 10 plus individuals, we still haven't hit our 100 uh, participants. We are uh, been hanging right around 58 uh, for the last half an hour, but but there's, a, there's two or three individuals in here. You can reach out to individuals and get them to join us. If you would do that, you would do that right now. I certainly will we'll appreciate it. I loved the opportunity for us to be able to celebrate at the end of this time of prayer that we have 100 participants uh, touching and agreeing with us in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Again, I'm gonna leave the cash app and the Zelle information up there just for a few more minutes. I'll bring it, bring it back if you didn't have a chance to, uh, to, to give, we'll bring it back in a few minutes. This time we uh, are going to have a, have a special uh, prayer uh, by Pastor Eric Robinson. Uh, Pastor Eric Robinson, go right ahead, please. Uh, mute yourself, Pastor. Very good. Heavenly Father, most gracious Lord, we come to you this evening just to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for waking us up and starting us on our way. Father, God, we come to you today just remembering 9-11, Father God. Father God, we like to lift up the, the families of those who were killed on that day, Lord. God, I'm coming in prayer of the United States of America, Lord. Father God, that word united means together, Lord. And Father God, we need to stand united in everything that we do, Lord. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, right now, I pray for every 50 states, Father God, across America, Lord. 
But, Father God, that word united, Father God, is continuing just to ring in my spirit, Lord. That united means together. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm asking you today, Father God, let us start in a household of faith, Father God, and let us be united on one accord, Lord. Father God, we know that Sunday, Father God, is the most segregated day of the week, Lord, because there, there's a black church and a white church and a Hispanic church. Father God, we bind that up right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. I'm praying for the United States, and it must start in the household of faith, Lord. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we're asking you, Lord, to bring us together as brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord, because you're not coming back for the, the black church or the white church, Father God. You're coming back for the universal church, Father God, because we're all brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord. So, Father God, as I pray for the United States, Father God, the word united, Lord, stands out in my spirit, Lord, that we must come together, Lord. Father God, there's too much racial tension, Father God, across these 50 states, Lord. Father God, we know that black lives matter, Lord. We know that all lives matter, Lord. But, oh, Lord, we know that all souls matter, Lord. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, every pastor that's on this line, Father God, let us stir up our congregation, Father God, and let us get busy in the highways and byways, Lord, and start bringing lost souls into the church, Father God, because it's not about black lives matter. It's not about all lives matter. Lord, it's about all souls matter, Lord. So, Father God, I'm praying, Lord, for every United States of America, Lord. I'm praying for all 50 states, Lord. Father God, we ask you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, to have your way in the elections, Father God. Father God, we ask you, Lord, to, to touch the hearts of, of, uh, 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 of, of all this racial tension, Lord. Father God, go by the KKK headquarters, Lord. Go by QAnon, Father God. Go by the skinheads in the Aryan nations, Lord. Go by anyone who's breeding out any kind of uh, 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 a sickness, uh, uh, any kind of malice, any kind of hatred out of their hearts, Father God. Oh, Father God, I'm, I'm praying for the United States, Father God. And in my spirit, Lord, united mean that we must stand together, Father God. As we stood together when 9-11 happened, Father God, we must stand together. Father God, I just thank you, Father God, for each and every pastor that's on this prayer line, Father God. We must stand together as one body in Christ, knowing that we're different members, Father God. Father God, we pray, Father God, for each and every state, Father God. We pray for California right now that's going through fires right now, Lord. Father God, bring the, bring the rain, Father God. Put out those fires right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father God, we just ask you this evening, Father God, just to have your way in each and every state in America, Father God. Father God, we love you, Lord, and we need you each and every day, Father God. And we know that you sit high and you look low and you make no mistakes, Father God. And you already know who's going to be the, the next president of the United States, Father God. So I'm asking you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, to touch his right now in the name of Jesus. Father, whoever it may be, Lord. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. And we praise your holy name, Father God. And it's in the precious blood of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Bless it. Blessed amen. Be amen. Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, our God. We have uh, our dear, dear sister here with us. Pastor Jackie Hines uh, need to uh, leave and take care of some other items. Uh, Pastor Hines, you, you're with us. Pastor Hines, you're with us. Go right ahead. Pastor Hello? Hines. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Okay. Good night, Dr. Baker. Bless and you. good night. Good night, Dr. Rutherford, and also to the brothers and sisters, the church, I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Tonight, I will be praying for the families. Eternal Father and our great God, come to you tonight because God you have put in place that you are first and families are second. And so, God, it is your heart that families is very, very important. And we have seen, oh God, in our society today, 
where families have been broken. Mighty God of heaven, families that are supposed to be the backbone of the community, of the home. We have seen so many of them. Oh God, the enemy, the evil one, take charge of their lives. We have seen, oh God, that poverty exists. And when you check it out, Lord God, most of the time is because of broken homes. Homes that single family, oh God, are raising children. And so God, they grow up without fearing you. And Lord God, we see the system try to fix it by putting them away. Almighty God, but that's not what the help they need. They need to know you, God. When, oh God, their lives are changed, we see, God, that societies change. We see, God, that communities are changed. We see, God, that homes are changed. Oh, God. We pray today, oh God, that the eyes of your people will be open. And God, they will see, oh God, that the real reason why families are broken is because you are out of the equation. Oh God, we put them before you today, Lord God responsibilities of fathers are not there anymore and mothers they have to be the father and the mother and sometimes father have to be the mother and the father lord god you did not create us to be that way and so god we are asking you in the name of jesus tonight that lord you will step in oh we are in a sick society Oh, God, everything, Lord God, as we can see that, God, because we take our eyes off you, Lord God, it happens to Peter. Oh, when he was on the sea, Lord God, he took his eyes off Jesus. And the minute he took his eyes off Jesus, he was sinking. Lord, your people, oh God, we take our eyes off you. And because we take our eyes off you, we are in a sinking society. We are in a sinking nation. We are in a sinking world. Oh God, we ask Lord that you will remember God. Remember the families today. Oh, in a very special way. Oh God, we ask that we will exercise faith knowing that prayer oh, comes. Lord God, with faith, prayer is a key to break any situation. Almighty oh, God of heaven, without prayer, we are hopeless. We cannot all function. But God, when we pray, something happens. And so God, we're asking you to remember us, Lord, as a nation and as a society, that when we, oh God, we see our children, our grandchildren, oh God, homes are broken, that Lord, we will tap into the source with this you God that can pull them away from evil pull them away God from the from, 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 from the prison bar pull them away God and let them realize that you are the answer and that Lord they should seek you first Lord God as Mark 12 and 30 says, we should love the Lord with all our hearts. It didn't say some part of our heart, but he said with all our hearts, almighty God, with all our soul, 
Lord, with all our mind and with all our strength. God, if we exercise those, God, we know, God, that families will be mended. Family will come together again. Society will come together again. People will love each other. We will have the connection from the source. So tonight, God, Lord, we look to you, and Lord, we are asking you, God, that you will forgive us, oh God, where we have fallen short, oh God of heaven, and that, Lord, we will seek after you with all our heart, and God, we know that we, oh God, will be saved, Lord God, tonight in the name of Jesus, oh, that you will pour your blessing upon your people and open their eyes that they may see you are depending on us as believers, as Christians, to hold the torch, to continue to pray for our families, loved ones, everyone, God, that we should not fall short. Have your own way tonight, God, and continue to work in us as we continue to reach out to the souls and the family of our community, our homes, and this world. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 We, bless, we bless the name of the Lord our God. I want everyone to just, if you can just turn on your, turn on your mics, we just want to just a, a, a few minutes of just a, a, a time of, of, of of, of just worship, uh, lifting up our hands and, and calling upon the name of the Lord. Just open up your mics right now. Lord Jesus, Lift up that Lord. Name of the Lord, our yes. God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name, Lord. We rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name, Lord. In your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Rising on the sun. The same Lord. You are worthy. Your worth, Lord. Receive honor and glory. Thank you, Lord, with many crowns. Hallelujah. Thank Go ahead and mute your go ahead and mute your mics. Go ahead and mute your mics at this time. Yes, glory to God. From, uh, from, from my dear brother all the way from the Virgin Island, Pastor Seaton Wilson. Pastor Wilson, go right ahead, please.
Pastor Wilson, go right ahead, please. Sound like I hear him uh, trying to come through. Pastor Wilson, go, go right ahead, please. Okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to Pastor uh, Wilson. Uh, I just saw her on. We we have with us this evening, Dr. Apostle Asanya Smith. Uh, uh, Dr. Smith, you're with us. Go right ahead, please. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Dr. Baker. Awesome to be here on this 9-11 service. Uh, greet you in the name of Jesus, Dr. Rutherford. God bless you, man of God that keeps the beat. Amen. Am I praying for anything in particular? Yes, ma'am. You are uh, praying for the, uh, the counties and the cities all across the country. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask your blessing, Father, upon this prayer once more, Lord God, as we lift up our voices, as we come together tonight as one people, one voice, almighty God, we bring before you the counties uh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift up the counties, almighty God, uh, the leaders of uh, these different um Amen. Constituencies, Lord God, we ask your blessing. We ask, Lord God, that your eyes would go to and fro these counties in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, nothing is hidden before you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We ask you to go into every crevice and corners, oh God, of these different uh, constituency around Florida, around America, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and begin to move, begin to clean places, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, to lift up the leaders, God, give them strategies, almighty God, because God, you knew that they would be in the position that they are now, even before the foundation of the world, so Lord God, we ask you, Lord God, even for divine favor upon their lives, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord God, to favor them, almighty God, Father, as we're in this uh, present time, of this pandemic 9-11 uh the, the anniversary of 9-11 fall up on this uh, in, the, in, in the season we're in of this pandemic lord god i ask for guidance and protection father i pray that that we will see beyond politics tonight in the name of jesus oh god that our eyes the leaders eyes you would anoint their eyes and they would probe amen through the land oh god they would probe almighty god of oh god that they, they would hear your heart hallelujah oh god you said you set up kings and you remove them lord you set them in place and positions and i know god that you will speak oh god even for those that don't really know you you spoke to nebuchadnezzar lord god in a dream hallelujah god give them dreams and visions and god i pray god that they would burn to to you go to the church hallelujah and ask hallelujah what is this mean what is the lord saying almighty god i pray for these uh county leaders that they would seek out godly counsel almighty god hallelujah to run the, the cities, almighty God, in the mighty name of yes. Jesus, Lord, we lift you up tonight, and our hearts cry out, Lord God, for our counties, oh Lord God, our hearts cry out for the, for the leaders, almighty God, our hearts cry out, oh God, for directions, oh God, give them direction, oh Lord God, Lord God, you said, if my people that are called by my name, Lord God, we are called by your name, hallelujah, glory to God, and you said, God, if we pray for our leaders, is if you we pray God hallelujah if we pray we will live peaceably with with, with, with the, the, in the land of God and so we pray God because we want to live peaceably we pray because we want to be obedient to your word we pray because nothing happens without prayer Lord God and I pray that to this 9-11 prayer vigil tonight will not just be for tonight God but Lord God you will burn in us to, to wake up and pray God that you would wake up your church sleeping giant 
and that we would wake up and pray. We would get up early in the morning and pray. We will pray, God, before we go to bed at night. We will pray in the afternoon. We will pray on every prayer watch. We will pray in the midnight watch for our counties. We will pray for our leaders, God. You said, Lord God, we ought to pray for them, God. God, and we give you thanks and we give you praise. We lift you up tonight. We lift you up tonight. And Lord God, we just tap into every prayer that has already gone up into the atmosphere. We tap into those prayers and we push them, Lord God, as we pray for the counties. Every person that pray for counties, oh God, I pray tonight that as we pray tonight and we touch and agree that we will push those prayers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are even dig into those ancient wells of prayer, praying for sin is praying for the counties, praying for our constituencies, oh Lord God. We tap into those prayers, God, in the name of Jesus, those prayers that has been stored up. And we release them now in the atmosphere. We release them now in the atmosphere, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh God, may the words of my mouth tonight, oh God, to be acceptable in your sight, oh Lord God. And Lord God, they would begin to take on characteristics and begin to move in the name of Jesus. You would give these words legs, hallelujah, to move, oh God, and to touch the counties. In the name of Jesus, touch the leaders. Oh God, my God, my God. Touch the leaders everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. In Jesus' mighty name, may they see as you see. May they see with God, godly eyes. In Jesus' name, God, and I give give you praise. I give you honor and I give you glory. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 We bless, amen. We bless the name of the Lord our God. Amen. Amen. At this time we want to uh, want to hear uh, real briefly. Wants to hear real briefly. You can mute the lines please. Mute, mute all lines. Mute all lines please. Uh, mute all lines. Please. We're getting Getting someone spilling over into uh, into the mic uh, again. We we want to uh, recognize our sponsors. We have uh, three sponsors with us uh, this evening that we'll like to uh, give them uh, opportunity to share some brief words with us. The the, uh, the first one we have is the Madeline Law Group, being represented by uh, Pastor Gregory Williams. Pastor Gregory Williams, go right ahead, please. Once again, thank you, Dr. Baker. We're so happy to be a part. Um, I want to uh, announce the Madelon Law Firm, who is an injury attorney who works very close with all of our pastors, you know, from the It Matters TV show that we did into currently now. Uh, Madelon, of course, is like a household name to uh, many of us. And we're always excited about coming and giving and sewing into all of your ministries. So just kind of give us a call. But Madelon Law Firm is an injury attorney. If you have a slip and fall, you have a car accident or anything negligent, just give us a call, one eight seven seven. it matters One of the big new things is, Dr. Baker, if you don't mind, um, uh, if you don't mind, share the screen. There's something new that's happening. You might know of someone who has who has been diagnosed with, uh, with cancer. And, and, and if they have taken Xantex or Renadine, um, you, 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 without a doubt, if you know of someone, uh, reach out to us, let us know because we can assist. Uh, that person is pretty much guaranteed with a six-figure settlement. And let me say it again, if you know someone, who, anyone that has been diagnosed with uh, any form of cancer, and they've they've taken uh, Zantac so, or or taken Ranadine, uh, Reach out to us dial one eight seven seven. It matters. Madelon Law Firm. Uh, Joseph Madelon is a is a friend to this community, and uh, that's kind of the uh, the flyer there. Uh, you can just reach out to us, and uh, we we will be more than happy to assist you. Um, and many of you pastors have worked with Madelon Law. Uh, and he, he loves working with the community, giving back. Uh, he'll come to your church. He'll support you. Any of your programs or anything that you want to do, just give us a call. We'll be there to support you at any time. 
Um, also, thank you, Dr. Baker. Uh, we have tonight, and, and I'm gonna, I need the, another 10 seconds. As you can see, the flat screen TV is right there. It's a smart TV. Uh, I believe that God's got a blessing tonight for you with your name on it. And, uh, and also as an appetizer, we have, uh, and I know preachers and people of God, they love Cheesecake Factory. And so we got a gift card for you from for Cheesecake Factory so you can get your grub on and also Red Lobster gift card for you as a, that would be kind of like a uh, appetizer just before the flat screen. Compliments of the Madeline Law Firm. God bless you. I'm Pastor Greg Williams. I'm Community Relations Director for the Madeline Law Firm. Don't get mad. Just call Madeline. one eight seven seven. It matters. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor, Pastor Gregory Williams. D uh, Dr. Dr. Rutherford, we have Miss Hazel uh, Mora. Uh, Mirage. Mirage, is she with us this evening? I she was supposed to. I think, is she online? I'm not sure. Miss Hazel, are you online? I guess now if she didn't get on, uh, she probably still planning to. If you would just go ahead and show our screen, I'll tell her what we did, and hopefully we'll be able to get our back later at the end. Also, Dr. Mandel is Dr. Mandel is still there. Dr. Mandel, are you there? One other thing, uh, Pastor Baker, is it, it, we want to. I want to interject. We we do have the hundred dollars for you tonight as well to sew into the into the broadcast. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Mandel is not here with us. However, he uh, he provided us with a clip, uh, and I'm going to share it right now. Stay healthy. Get your lemon juice. The powerful vitamin C helps build our immune system. The antioxidants protect the cells from damage. The citrus flavonoids reduces the inflammation. Every disease has inflammation, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, clogging of the arteries. It will help that. Kidney stones that build up all those minerals. It will wipe it out. It cleanses and detoxifies the liver, the blood, the intestines. It will give you that beautiful, good breath again. It works as a diuretic. It will get rid of that bloating. It will help your digestion. As you get older, we have less hydrochloric acid. It will help you reduce weight loss. It increases your metabolism. It will hydrate you, it will energize you, it will keep you healthy a long, long time. Share this with a friend. Some uh, words of wisdom from our dear uh, Dr. Alan, Alan Mandel. We uh, spoke to him uh, early this week and he really wanted the people of God to uh, take away those nuggets of how to keep yourself uh, healthy, as healthy as possible. Again, a special thanks to all of our, our sponsors. At the end of our program this evening, we will be doing a uh, doing the drawings we have taken we have taken down your names as you have uh, uh, registered in the, uh, particip uh, the uh, participation area if we didn't get a name we have a telephone have a telephone number so we'll be using uh, we'll be using all of it however you must be present I think I have Dr. Mandela just joined uh, okay. go ahead go ahead Dr. Mandela go ahead Dr. Mandel, you're on. Go ahead. I have to unmute myself. Can you guys hear me? We we yeah. just we just uh, we just rolled your video, so I'm sure you can enlighten us a little further. Uh, which video did you? Oh, oh you uh, the one I sent you yesterday was that? That's correct. Yes. I have so many videos out there. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> uh, I just want to say blessings to all of you out there. I think it's really nice that you guys putting that spiritual positive energy through the airwaves and. Uh, obviously, with this pandemic, we, we have no choice but to govern ourselves and our family. And um, I just want to just, you know, wish you lots of uh, blessings to all the people out there, out here that comes to, uh, came out here to participate, to, to share the love, because uh, this is all positive stuff. I mean, we, people out there really need this out there. I mean, there's a lot of hurting people out there, not only financially, but emotionally, spiritually, and um you know, uh, Maurice and Dr. Baker, as much as you guys are involved in churches, unfortunately, things have changed a lot the last, uh, you know, half a year. And, uh, you know, people can't physically be in a lot of these places, unfortunately. 
And um, I, I, I can't imagine this is like the first time ever in history but where someone can't go to church. Tell them, maybe you can fill me in there a little, Maurice. Well, you know, uh, we're calling on that. The gate is going to open back up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's always another side to everything, of course. Yeah. Yes, of yes. course. I mean, if, if anything, this is only going to make us stronger. Absolutely. I mean, that, that's really what it comes down to. Not only stronger, it's going to make us smarter, uh, particularly in taking care of our own health. You know, there's, there's so many things we took for granted of just touching our face all the time. Now, you know, uh, when this pandemic passes, I'm sure people out there are going to still think twice or three times when they touch their face or their eyes or their nose, or, you know, they're touching on to door, the doors and you know, and uh, they're walking around with Purell now like they never did in their whole life. So there's a lot of good things that's going to come out of this as well. I think people are just going to be more aware of their own selves, uh, taking better care of themselves, and not only ourselves, but being more aware of others, you know, uh, of places that we've been, that sometimes we got to think a second or a third time, hey, listen, is it possible that I can get somebody sick, even though it's not, you know, uh, a coronavirus? It could be anything. So um, I think we have to look at the positive thing out there. Uh, I just want to just uh, just send my love out there to everyone out there. And um, actually, Maurice, at the time I was just editing, trying to get a, a video out there on scoliosis that they're 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 wanting out there throughout the world. So uh, you know, I got my full time job sitting in my seat, but uh, we all got our full time job somewhere. But um, anything else, Maurice? I just want to say uh, blessings to to you and the great work that you're doing. And uh, I just hope that you can take this thing, what you guys are doing, and just make this into hundreds and the thousands and to hundreds of thousands of people out there getting off the, the local area and kind of taking it into a, a national thing and maybe into a global thing, uh, kind of like a YouTube thing, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm pushing Maurice to, 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 to do the YouTube. I said, if I can do it, Maurice, a little bald guy sitting over here, and Davey, uh, you sure the heck can do it because you're around hundreds of thousands of people, just, I'm exaggerating, but thousands of people in your churches and uh, you guys, you could, you guys could really come together and try to get some gospel thing together, or some, uh, some positive spiritual thing together. If it's believing and talking about, you know, what you're doing now or something different in the future. But there's a lot of people out there worldwide that are searching for this kind of stuff. Trust me, um, you know, this is a, a big thing you guys are onto. You just got to get on the right bandwagon and hit the right road. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You know, Doc, uh, we so believe in what we're doing. You know, my thing is, if you're called, don't worry about what your vision or what your mission is. Answer to your call. And that's what Absolutely. we're doing tonight. We're answering to our call. Yeah, go, go with your heart. Go with your heart. Your heart will never stay your own. Yes. Yeah. Dr. Baker, is there a number to pass on to someone who um, they're saying that they need a phone number to call in? Uh, yeah. if, they ever, if they ever need anything, uh, any, any action, any injury, any problem, uh, 30, well, you know my old number? I still remember it. Was it, uh, I, don't know, I always be the 1877 IREDOC. We'll give you a normal number. Yes. Uh, 305-654-9100. 305-654-9100. Located just in Miami Gardens. Uh, yes. We've been there, uh, I think, 34 years now. Wow. I'm, I'm retiring soon, Murray's. Letting you know ahead of time. <laughs> God, God bless you, Dr. Mandel. We thank you so much for your unwavering uh, support. And uh, we always look to hear from you when we have our annual uh, prayer rallies. And so thank you so much for tuning in this evening. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll check back with you on the midst of that, of, um, of, of doing some editing right now. How long you guys uh, think you, you think be running to tonight? We, we, we are on the uh, down end of the program. Uh, okay, you are. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. 30, 40 minutes now. Okay. All right. Well, blessings to all of you. And uh, I only wish every one of you and your families and loved ones just good health, only good health. Uh, you, you have your good health, your happiness will come. Just only good health. And again, along with happiness and prayers for everyone out there. So God bless and have a great night. Amen. God bless you as well. Amen. Uh, back back to our, our prayer uh, prayer gathering. Um, we have do we have Doctor a uh, Pastor uh, Seton Wilson? Uh, it looked like I, I saw you earlier. Are you able to get uh, get your mute off, Pastor Wilson? Go right ahead, Pastor Wilson. Go right ahead, please. He's he's still and he's still muted, Doc. Uh, Pastor Wilson, are you able to unmute? 
Pastor Wilson, can you unmute, please? Okay, we got, we'll, we'll try to uh, get back to him. Uh, we'll go straight in our prayer for our, our churches, uh, Bishop Nicholas Ferguson. Uh, Bishop, you're with us this evening? Bishop, you're with us this evening? I think I have Minister Carlene from the Manor Church. Go ahead, go ahead Minister Carlene, go ahead. Praise God. We give God thanks this evening for this awesome opportunity that we have for the body of Christ to come together just to worship and to give him praise. And as we look to God tonight in prayer for the churches, we just want to give God praise for the opportunity that we have just to realize that the church is not a building, but the church is the body of believers who are called out to worship and praise. God. So as we pray tonight for the church, we trust that the Lord will continue to guide us in his word and in his truth. The hymn says the church is one foundation, is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. Father, we want to give you thanks tonight for this opportunity where we as a body of believers can come together to give you praise. Lord, in spite of this pandemic, in spite of the ravages of 9-11, 19 years ago, your people who are called by your name can come together to give you praise. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity that we have to recognize that the building is not the church, but it is the called out people of Christ who come together designed by the blood of Jesus Christ to give praise, to give honor and glory to our risen Savior. Father, we thank you tonight for this awesome privilege that we have. And as churches all over, as a people of God come together, Lord, we pray that we will be unctionized by your Holy Spirit to do the will and work of the Father. Lord, we pray that we will not look at denominations, but we will look to Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. I pray that the blood of Jesus Christ that connects us, Lord, will never lose its power and that the church will take its rightful place into the nations, into the world to declare the glory of the Lord in the land of the living. Lord, we bless you tonight as we come together and as we pray for families who were affected by 9-11. Oh God, we pray that your people will continually look to the hills from whence cometh our help, knowing that our help comes from you. So unctionize the church, we pray tonight, almighty God. May we continue to lift the banner of salvation high. May we continue to preach Christ and him crucified. May we preach, Almighty God, that Jesus saves. May we not see color or creed, but may we see the creation of God who are positioned to take this world to the next level as we prepare to be with you in eternity. Oh God, we pray that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, oh God, will fall upon the church. We pray in the name of Jesus, that your people will be blood bought, blood washed, oh God, and just ready to serve you, oh God, as we witness, Lord, the church is called to go, go and make disciples of all nations, and we pray that we will take the post-resurrection mandate seriously, oh God, when we recognize the state of this world. Father God, we see all that is happening around us, and may the church of Jesus Christ look up and recognize that our redemption draw it nigh. So Father, we thank you tonight 
for the church of Jesus Christ. We thank you for this coming together tonight, oh God, as we remember the devastation of 9-11. 9-11, Lord, may we come together, not just on 9-11, but every day of our lives. May we raise the banner of salvation high, and may we let the world know that Jesus Christ is our hope, the hope that never fails, that unshakable hope, the hope that is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. So may the church of Jesus Christ, oh God, be, oh God, may there be a revival, a revival across the world as we raise the banner high for Christ. Lord, cause us to be a people who will call upon your name consistently. And Lord, may we tell others about you. May the church be effective and may the church be the church in this day and age as we look to the hills from whence cometh our help. In Jesus' name we pray and for his name's sake. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We bless we bless the name of the Lord. At this time, we are going to uh, uh, have a special selection by Sister Andrea Davis. And following her, we, are, we will try to get Brother uh, Wilson on the line. Sister uh, Davis, go right ahead, please. Thank you. I stand with fellow Christians all over uh, to support and to encourage the as well as the bereaved during this time. Praise God, praise God. In this storm, it feels like forever. In the nights of confusion, oh, the seam all so long, your ship has lost anchor, and the storm's got you drifting, just hold on to Jesus. And ride out your storm. Ride out your storm. God's right there with you. Oh, you may not see him, but you're not alone. You're hurting now, but your morning is coming. Hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. Remember his promise. He said, I'll never forsake you. And though the waters are raging, all oh, they'll do you no harm. Don't give up on the battle, for the answer is coming. Hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. Ride out your storm. God's right there with you. Oh, you may not feel him, but you're not. You're not alone. You're hurting now, but your morning is coming. Hold on to Jesus. 
Jesus and ride out your storm. Hold on to Jesus mm. and ride out your storm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord bless the Lord. All right. Uh, Pastor Wilson, you're with us. Pastor Wilson, you're with us. Pastor Wilson. I am not sure why it's not coming up. Okay. We're going to, we'll, we'll move on. We'll come back. Um, Pastor Gary Hoffman from Grace Church. Pastor Gary, go right ahead. Amen. Amen. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Again, Father, we just want to express to you how, how thankful and how grateful we are to you that you have given us another opportunity where we could come together as members of the body of Christ as servants of the most living God, to fellowship with each other and to, to bring our wants, our requests to you tonight, Father. Lord, I, 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 I present to you our, our young people tonight. Lord, our, our hearts really, our hearts really ache our hearts really hurt when we hear and we see some of the things that our, our young people are getting involved in, some of the things that our young people are a part of. Surely, God, it, 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 it hurts our hearts. And that is why tonight we are bringing them into your hand. As a matter of fact, God, I bring to you tonight the the youth of, of, of South Florida, the youth of the state of Florida. Lord, we, we recognize that they are searching, they are looking, they are longing, but God did us seem to be doing it in all the wrong places. And so tonight, God, I pray. Tonight, God, we pray. Tonight, God, we cry out to you that you will in the way that you know best, God. Get to the hearts of our young people. Get into the minds of our young people. And Lord, tell them, remind them, show them that Jesus is still the answer. We recognize, God, that sometimes that in itself sounds like an old statement. It sounds like an irrelevant statement. It's not like a statement that is outdated. But Lord, in reality and in truth, Jesus, Jesus is still the answer. And so I pray tonight, God, for a sense of revelation, a sense of truth, that it will reach the hearts of our young people, our youth, God, right here in our county, Lord, right here, Dade County, Broward County, Palm Beach, right here in South Florida, right here in the state of Florida, Lord, a sense, a sense of, of God, a, a sense of, of purpose, knowing that, that Jesus is really, really the answer. Not some sports icon, not some politician, not some movie star, but Jesus is the answer. And so I pray God you will help us as, as pastors, help us as leaders, help us as parents, help us as uncles, help us as aunts, grandfathers, grandmothers, brothers, sisters, to just remind the young people that we are around that Jesus is still the answer. Father, we come to you because we have recognized that we have failed. We are insufficient. We are just not adequate enough. And so, Lord, we are presenting them into your hand. For you are more than able. You are more than capable. You are more than sufficient. And we pray, God, that through your spirit, 
you'll get it into their hearts and into their minds that nothing else but Jesus is the answer. And the only answer they need is not in anything else but in Jesus. And so, Lord, we present now all the young people into your hand. And we say, Lord, have your own way in their hearts. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. And we give you all the glory. And together, all God's people say, Amen. 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 Bless you, Pastor Gary. Bless God. God. Good to see you. So good to Peace. see you. Praise God. Good to see you, brothers. Good to see you. Amen. Good Amen. to see you. Amen. I, I Thank you, Jesus. I just to say something about Grace Church. Grace Church, uh, 30 plus years, maybe close to 40. I remember when Pastor Gary, I don't say it's the first time, but when he got here at a young age, maybe I said to him, not maybe, I did say to him, I said, Pastor Gary, I've seen the calling of God is on your life, and you are going to be the person that is in charge of Grace Church. That's probably 30 plus years ago, and we live to see he become that person. So I just want to say, sometimes when God speaks to us, we must deliver. Don't keep it. Not sometimes. Most hour when God speaks to us, not sometimes. Amen. Yeah. God bless you, Brother Amen. Rutherford. For the baker, God bless you both. God bless. Amen. 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 Okay, we'll we'll now have uh, uh, the our outreach efforts prayer by Bishop uh, Winford uh, Garzell. Bishop, go right ahead, please. Um, Bishop, go right ahead. Like he's coming. I think we have to come back. Um, Minister um, Pastor Wisdom, are you there? Uh, they're trying to get on. Can we go on, come back? I'll see what happened. Um, okay, we'll ha we'll have our next uh, uh, prayer by uh, uh, prayer of unity by uh, Pastor uh, Devin Rutherford. Devin, go right ahead. All right. Good afternoon. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Good. Well. Just want to greet everyone this evening. It's um, really a pleasure being here. Uh, first, let me just say congratulations um, to uh, Dr. Maurice and uh, Dr. Baker. Uh, really good work that you both are doing. It's very good. And I want to also say, um, and I've watched you guys over the years, your consistency and commitment to the work. That's very good. Um, and I think God is really pleased with that. Um, also to the sponsors, I think that's um, very admirable of you to support the work of God. And to all of you pastors who are on the line tonight, um, I believe it's such a wonderful thing to come together, work together. Um, I believe it is pleasing to the Lord. And also, before I forget, all the participants um, were on the line, um, whether or not you're from any particular church, um, I think it is a blessing for you to be here um, tonight. Um, I do have um, just to pray um, here tonight for unity. And I'm so I'm reminded of the scripture in Psalms 133. The Bible says how blessed it is for brethren to come together in unity. And so uh, when I think about unity here, I believe coming together is only the beginning. Working together. Hello. Progress. Hello. And staying together is really unity. So let me pray uh, if you join me in prayer. Father, we thank you this evening. We thank you for the true men of God and the women of God as we gather tonight for this wonderful occasion. Father, we are so grateful that we can come together in unity tonight, Lord, just as the scripture tells us. We're so grateful that we can come, Lord, and regardless of... Um, denomination lines, regardless of um, cultural differences. God, we are so grateful that we can come together tonight to celebrate you. Father, to give you thanks, to praise you, and to honor you, and to lift you up. And so God, as we all work together, I pray that, Lord, we will accomplish your will here on earth. I pray that you will touch the hearts of your people. Continue to meet our every need. Father, we are so grateful, God, that we can come together in this mean, in this way, Oh God, in spite of what's going on to the country, to the world, in spite of what's going on globally, I pray, God, we are so grateful that we can find this medium that we can gather here, even on a Zoom, 
to celebrate your love, to celebrate your blessings. And so, God, we're so grateful tonight. Father, as we unite together, I pray that you will help us to work together, to work together as one, to work together in love, to work together in harmony, to work together in unity. Father, we're so grateful tonight, oh God, for your wonderful word. It is your word that bond us together. It is your love that bind us together. And so, God, we pray tonight that you will keep us in oneness, keep us in one heart, one mind, one spirit. We bless you this day and we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for the true men and, men and women of God tonight. We thank you for all of those who have gathered together here, oh God, to lift you up and to give you praise and honor. We're so grateful, God, for where you're taking us and for what you're doing in our lives. Father, as we come now, we humble ourselves before you and we put everything at the cross. Father, we just pray right now, God, regardless of where our church is located, there is no distance, oh God. Father, regardless of our denominations, Father, we're praying right now in the name of Jesus, Father, you are the center of it all. And so we thank you tonight, Lord. We bless you. And as we say, God, coming together is only the beginning. Working together is progress, but staying together is true unity. True unity. We bless you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You. Bless you. Bless you, my dear brother. Yes. Bless you, my dear brother. Just want to see it's, uh, Pastor Wilson, you're with us. You ready to get through, Pastor Wilson? I just spoke to him, Dr. Baker, and he said he's on, but I believe there's an internet connection. Okay. So I hope um, Sister Andrea Banner will yes. have that. Yeah, Dr. Rutherford, you tag on Pastor Devin Rutherford. Dr. Rutherford, Dr. Rutherford, if you can yeah. just go ahead and get him on your phone and just turn up the speaker, we can go ahead and have him pray. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go right okay. ahead. Just to put a little tag on Pastor Devin Rutherford, my son, he's been preaching from age three. Three wow. years. Uh -huh. That's another servant that God has called. Amen, amen. Amen. Uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop Winfield Garzell, you're there? Bishop, you're there? Um, Bishop Garzell, you're there? Okay, we're going to move on to uh, the uh, special selection. Dr. Rutherford, if you can go ahead and queue up uh, Pastor Wilson, we'll have him go right after this special, special selection coming all the way from, all the way from Jamaica, uh, Sister Andrea banner go right ahead out there sis let me say please and good evening to everyone it's good to be a part of this amen this wonderful meeting amen where we come together amen in prayer to the lord the Bible tells us that we should stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not again entangled in the yoke of bandage. Yoke of bandage. Praise God. We, are, we have been made free, amen, through the blood of Christ, and we can walk in this freedom. Hallelujah. Father, we lift you up, you are worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I have traded my shackle for a glorious song. Oh, I am free. Praise the Lord, free at last. So long I search for life's meaning enslaved by the world and my greed. Then the door of my prison was opened by love. For the ransom was paid, I was free. 
Oh, I'm free from the fear of tomorrow. I'm free from the guilt of my past. Oh, I traded my shackles for a glorious song. I am free. Praise the Lord, free at last. Oh, I am free from the guilt that I carry. From a dull, empty life, I'm set free. When I met Jesus, he made me complete. He forgot the foolish child I used to be. Oh, I'm free from the fear of tomorrow. Yes, I'm free from the guilt of my past. Yeah, I've traded my shackles for a glorious song. I am free, praise the Lord, free at last. Yeah, I've traded my shackles for a glorious song. I am free, praise the Lord, free at last. Yeah. For a glorious, a glorious song, I am free. Praise the Lord, free at last. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless you, we lift you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You were the God. hallelujah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Dr. Rutherford, we have uh, uh, Pastor Wilson. We do. We do. I, I am so blessed. Um, Minister uh, Andre Banner, I really been blessed with your song. Continue to work for the Lord. Uh, Pastor Wilson, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Are you hearing me? We are hearing you. Go right ahead. to be sharing from the Virgin Islands. I'm the pastor of First Assembly of God here in Christian State and Core USVI. I'll be on till 6.30, but I wasn't, I was hearing everything, but you couldn't hear me. Let us pray. I'm asked to pray for leaders. And I'm going to lead, pray for leaders in every sphere, political leaders, um, educational leaders, civic leaders, scientific leaders, church leaders, parental leaders, business leaders, medical leaders. Father God, tonight, I thank you. You are a great God. You are the ultimate leader, infinite, in every area of your life. You have raised up leaders in every sphere to represent you as envoys upon the earth. And you said in your word, let your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And you have raised up leaders to make your will be done on earth. Lord, I pray tonight that leaders in every area of life will have a God-given vision, a vision purpose in their mind and in their heart that fits into the area of leadership. I pray especially for political leaders tonight, those who are called upon to lead countries and kingdoms and various states and cities, I pray that their minds will be governed, 
by your spirit. I pray that you raise up leaders like Joseph, leaders like Daniel, leaders like Moses. I pray that you raise up leaders in the church like the apostles and the prophets. I pray that in the home you raise up great leaders like Abraham who do all the train up their, their children, Lord, in the way of God. I pray, dear God, in the scientific realm that you will give leadership to the scientists to bring truth and discoveries that will enhance the world. In the medical field, Lord, you see that so many diseases, so many problems in the world. You give the scientists, Lord, the medical scientists, Lord God, that discover the kind of remedy that we need to cure the evils of our society. Lord, I pray that you will give leaders moral rectitude. You will give them righteousness, exalt a nation, but sin is reproach to any nation. You say when the righteous are in leadership, the people rejoice. But when the wicked are in leadership, Lord, the people grow. You will say, to God, it shall be well with the righteous. So I pray tonight that you raise up righteous leaders in every sphere of the world today. I pray, dear God, that you raise up leaders that will present their bodies to you as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to you as their reasonable worship. I pray that you will transform leaders. You will give them spiritual metamorphosis through the renewing of their minds to the word and the spirit so that they might know what is your will, your perfect will good and pleasing will. Lord, one of the things about leadership is to provide wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and admonition to put sense into the heads of those in leading. And as we are facing all kinds of disruption in our society because of bad leadership, I pray, dear God, that you will use your strength to woo leaders to follow your right path. Lord, and I pray that leaders who will not submit willingly to your sovereign leadership, that you will overrule them. You said kings and presidents, they think in their hearts, but you direct their steps. And so, God, I give evil leaders to you tonight, that your sovereign power will overrule their actions and use them for good, like you did with Cyrus. Lord God, I bless this, this prayer meeting tonight. And I pray that as we continue to pray, that these prayers will be effective. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Wilson. I'm happy we're able, able to make that happen. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a, a, a Bishop uh, Winfield Reddy. Is he uh, connected at this point? Uh, not yet, uh, Dr. Baker. I guess we could move to the next item until I could reach out to them. Yes. Yeah. See if uh, see if you can uh, reach uh, reach him. I'm gonna see if uh, um, uh, Minister uh, Hopi Brown or uh, or uh, Minister uh, Ju Julian uh, Plummer have a have one more song to share. Uh, before we uh, go into this uh, this last and final prayer, I want to uh, share with each of you, maybe you have a loved one or someone right now that has been infected with this coronavirus. We want you to reach out to them. I think it's very important because of this prayer that we are, are about to pray. Very important that they tune in, either, either just listen to the audio or, or dial in. So if you know of someone, it, it's imperative that you get them to connect with us during this next prayer that that uh, Pastor Stevie uh, Richards will be uh, praying. Uh, so I want you to, uh, if you can go ahead and make that uh, make that connection, that will be uh, that will be great. Uh, uh, so Minister uh, Hopi Brown, uh, you you have a selection or something you can. Share with us real quick, you or you or Julian, if you can do that, just to give us some time to prepare ourselves for this final prayer. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, when I'm <laughs> when I'm low in the spirit, I cried, Lord, lift me up. Oh, I want you to go out and be me. For the Lord knows I can't stay on the mountain. And so we picked out a valley for me. Jesus leads me this still waters somewhere in the valley below her and he drew me aside to be tested and tried in the valley he restored my soul as dark as the dungeon where the sun seldom shine and i question lord why must this be <laughs> then he told me there is joy in my sorrow, and there is victory in his trials for me. Jesus leads me beside still water. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest nights. You were close like no other. I know you as a father. I know you as, I a, know friend. You as a friend. For I have lived. In the goodness of God. For all my life, you have been faithful. And all my life, you have been faithful. Every word that I am able. Oh, I will, oh sing. I will sing 
of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest nights. You are close like no other. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. And I have lived good in the good of God. In spite of what is God is still good. All my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so so good. Every, every breath, breath that I am able, able, I will I sing, will sing of, of the goodness, goodness of God. Amen. Amen. Thank Praise you so God. much. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Glory to God. God, God bless you, Dr. Baker. Amen. Amen. Okay. I must this past Sunday, I felt like um, church what we've been used to this past Sunday. Tomorrow, we expect it as not a great day. 4351 West Open Park, All Nation New Testament Church of God. Mr. Amen. Thank you to all our members and friends at All Nation New Testament Church of God. Sorry, Pastor. We have. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, our sponsor, Ms. Hazel Maraj. She should be on at this time. I I saw her trying to come in. Are you seeing her? Yes, I'm here. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> well, good good evening, everyone. And um, it is a pleasure to be here with you all, to join you, to, to listen to the word of God. I mean, to get some peace that we all need at this time. But I'm just here um, representing a great company, a great Jamaican company that is 98 years old. Uh, it's called Grace Kennedy. And we are the agent partners for Western Union Money Transfer. And I know at this point in time too, Jamaica is also feeling the effects of COVID and a lot of us here may be a little bit better off financially, but our family and friends need a little bit back home. And we have this opportunity to kind of send some money back home to the banks. Every one of our family that has a bank account in Jamaica, they can now receive their money through the bank from easily from the fingertip of your phone when you download the Western Union app. Uh, my number is 305 608 6325. My name is Hazel Maraj. If you do need further information, it will only be my pleasure to assist you in helping you um, to find, to give you the choices of how you can remit, remit money back home to your loved ones in Jamaica. So once again, thank you very much. Also, buy up all your Grace products. And if you have some extra money, buy some stocks in Grace Kennedy back home in Jamaica. Um, it's really a good um, deal right now. So thank you, thank you, uh, Dr. Baker, Dr. Rutherford for having me. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Yes. Amen, amen. Uh, Bishop Winfield, go right ahead. Um, she's supposed to be coming, she was on and she's supposed to be coming up back, doctor, I don't see her. I wanna say um, our church will be also having food drive tomorrow. Folks, if you're listening, All Nation New Testament Church of God is having food drive tomorrow. They start at 2 p.m. Um, the Manor Church of the Nazarene, uh, Pastor Terrell Scott, I wanna say that big thank you. The entire membership is supposed to be joining in with us and I'm so grateful of that. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., they give away some of the very best vegetable you want to stop by. It's 1518 Northwest 15th Avenue in Lauderdale. 
Yeah. All right. All right, Doc. We'll get, we'll get, we'll, on this 15th Avenue. Doc, we'll get your closing comments. Uh, you, you're not, you're not, we're not ready for you yet. <laughs> I'm enjoying every moment of it here, Doc. All right. Well, I got to keep you in check, you know. <laughs> so we're going to, um, we're going to, we're going to keep this uh, prayer session moving, move, moving on. Uh, we're going to go ahead. I don't know. I, it doesn't look like uh, uh, Bishop. Uh, Pastor Wisdom, are you there? Pastor Wisdom, she, I just spoke to her. She should be joining me any second. She was uh, on board. And she had to hop up for a minute. Bishop Winfield is who I'm looking for. Yeah, she's yeah. standing in the gap for okay for him. I hear he, someone. Technology is the thing that holds back some of our our, yeah. our speaker. Bishop Winfield, you there? God bless you, Dr. Rutherford. I'm not sure if it's me you all are looking yes. for. <laughs> yes, we're looking for you. <laughs> okay. Go right ahead. Go right ahead, my dear sister. All Good right. Day. Praise God. I'm Pastor Wisdom, and I'm representing um, a Faithful Deliverance Temple Church, where my leaders are the Right Honorable Bishop Dr. Whitfield Grizel and Missionary Failing Grizel. Praise God. And I just want to and greetings from our church. Um, I'm driving now. I'm on my Bluetooth, but it's okay for me to drive. So I just want to bring greetings from the church. Um, it would be a bit hard to pray now. I know that I might try to get on earlier, but, you know, for whatever reason. So I just want to greet everyone again, Dr. Rutherford, all the other pastors and bishops, and each and every one in their respectful places. Um, I'll bring greetings to you all from Faithful Deliverance Temple Church. Amen. Amen. Bless you, bless you, my dear, uh, my my dear, my dear sister. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. I I uh, have my uh, my dear cousin on the line here, uh, Bobby Baker. Uh, Bobby, if you would uh, go ahead and if you would go ahead and offer up a. Uh, a prayer for all of the outreach efforts of the of the church. Bobby, if you're able to, would you do that for me, please? Bobby Baker, go right ahead. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you for all the outreach efforts of every church that's on this Zoom. We want to pray their strength. We want to pray their protection. Yes. We want to cover each one, each and every one in your blood, God the blood of Jesus. He said, there's no other blood. And I've heard that the blood of the animals that you killed, that was killed in your name, said that blood was not clean. But your blood is the cleanest blood. So bless us with your blood, God, in the name of Jesus. All those on the Zoom, all those that they touch, all those that they mentioned, everybody that they mentioned, God, in the name of Jesus, touch each and every one. Bless them in the name of Jesus. We pray, thank God, amen. Amen and amen. Amen, we are going to uh, now um, uh, go to uh, uh, my dear friend, Pastor Stevie Richards, and um, most, of, most of us on this line, we had time to uh, circle uh, this session, most of us been touched and impacted, and oh. by the coronavirus, and we know that it has swept across uh, not just our land here in the United States, but across the world. It has uh, uh, attacked every every continent of the of the world, and so this evening, uh, this evening, if if God's going to move people of God, we know that he often moves through the people of God, the man and the, and the woman of God. And I want us as, uh, as Pastor Stevie Richards uh, uh, pray, I want us to touch and, uh, touch and agree that the, Lord will, that the Lord will do what only he can do. Uh, Pastor Richards, go right ahead, please. Praise God. Praise God. Can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Bless God. I just want to greet you, Dr. Baker, praise God, Dr. Rutherford, Dr. Asonia Smith, 
and all the pastors and bishops and elders in your respectful places. God bless you. Amen. It is so um, ironic that I was asked to do this assignment. Earlier today, I was speaking with my one of my associate bishop in England, and he was concerned because they just reopened to go back to church, and now the prime minister is somewhat uh, shutting them down and limiting them to just a few people because they begin to spike there uh, with the virus in London. And he was like, Bishop, what are we going to do? Because the enemy is using this also to attack the church. I said, yes, but we have a way out. Glory to God. Our way out is prior. We got to go back to the old days. When Israel suffers a pandemic, the people, glory to God, would seek the face of God in sackcloth and ashes and God would change the circumstances. And it says, this is what we're going to do. We're going to pray because the gospel of the kingdom must reach, amen, to the ends of the earth by whatever means. We have what we're doing right now, Zoom and uh, various social media that we can use or capitalize on, amen, to reach the world. And uh, the longing for congregating is going to come back. Because if the church begin to pray, the Lord is going to have his way. And that's what we're doing right now. Hallelujah. So as we touch and agree, glory to God, as men and women of God, I believe that we are more than the number right now. Amen. To reverse this curse. Hallelujah. That has affected the world globally and has changed our way of life. Amen. Maybe forever. Glory to God. But we're trusting God. Father. In the name of Jesus, your only begotten son, who came out of the love of your heart for humanity and gave his life to redeem us from the collision course that we all were on because Adam disobeyed you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And open up the door for, this, for the devil to come in and charter a different course for this world and alter every plan for humanity to survive, to have dominion, to have authority over his uh, environment and to have control over his life. Now, Father, everything seems to be spiraling out of control, mighty God, but we thank you Hallelujah. There are a few that believes in you. There are a few in Sardis, my God, who have not defiled their garment. Hallelujah. Or eat at Jezebel's table and drink the king's wine. There are a few who believe that prior changes things. There are a few who have dedicated their lives to believe that God is well able to do far exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. There are a few tonight who will stand up on the principles of the word of God and speak and declare hallelujah that he even the prince of Persia will hear the word of God and be still. Father, you told us in your word that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And we take authority right now. We come as men and women of God. We are your children. We are your co-workers and partner in ministry in saving the world. Hallelujah from sin and unrighteousness uh, to close the very mouth of hell. Oh, the Bible said hell open its mouth wide. Hallelujah. Souls are poured in. But tonight, God, I thank you for the few. I thank you for those who have organized 
this September 11 prior fest, Lord God, when men of God come together, the leaders, those that are at the head of the affair, hallelujah, those who have anointed and appointed, and we come in agreement right now against this death. Yes, this shadow of death, Lord. Egypt experienced it a hundred years ago. We experienced it. And now, God, whether it was developed in a lab, hallelujah, generically altered by some chemical reaction, whatever it is, Lord, whether it was a weapon that was weaponized, hallelujah, to affect the world, oh, God, and to cause global economic collapse. But tonight, Jesus, the church of the living God, the people of God, the men of God, hallelujah, stand up against it right now. Lord, I remember, oh, hallelujah, when Korah, Dayton, and Abiram come against the church, come against the man of God, hallelujah, and you open the earth oh, to take him in and all his family, and there were many that believed with him that was about to die, and I heard Moses cry out to Aaron, Aaron to get the censer and stand between the living and the dead. Tonight, Lord, we, your people, are standing between the living and the dead, and we're offering up a prayer that there be no more death, that there be no more spiking of this deadly virus, that God, you will bring it under control that you will bring it under the subjection of the Holy Spirit and every demon assigned to this pandemic will receive the fire of God and be roasted. I command right now hallelujah that every minion every hymn hallelujah and every regional spirit that is assigned to this pandemic to spread it in cities, in communities, in homes. Right now, we'll receive a stop order. Oh, glory to God. Yes, we command it to be still. I speak healing to everyone, God, who has been affected. I speak deliverance to even those still and respirators. I speak now of the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord Abba my God, yes, yes, Lord, release, send a release, Lord, into our cities, into this country, and around the world, let man recognize you, Lord, some Lord, as the book of Revelation declare, when the wrath of God is poured out, they blaspheme the name of the Lord God the more. And we see this happening in this pandemic, Lord. Men are blaspheming your name. But the church of the living God, we will be your voice. Hallelujah. And we will be recognized. Hallelujah. As the backup of the Lord God standing between the living and the dead and crying, oh Lord, have mercy mercy. Have mercy, Jesus, and bring deliverance, even upon the Eden, even upon those who don't believe, that they will believe, Lord. Lord God Almighty, I thank you, Lord, that you have given me the opportunity to minister to an agnostic who received the virus, and when he was cleared, the agnostic lift his hand and said, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that men and women everywhere, hallelujah, will lift their hands and say, thank you, Jesus, for the deliverance. Lord God, bring healing, bring restoration into our city, especially South Florida, my God. Bring deliverance. She in the order of the day. Let men and women humble themselves and pray and seek your face that you will lift this cloud of death 
put your blood upon your people, Lord. Anoint them with your blood. That when the enemy, when this cloud of death, see the blood, it will begin to pass over, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you that everyone agreeing now for their families. The healing will come. Those who are family member in the hospital that are infected, I decree healing. I speak deliverance. I speak healing in the mighty name of Jesus. And I give it the glory and I give it the honor in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless Praise the Lord. God. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Bless me. Bless. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, Thank amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What a privilege it is, people of God. Glory to God. To, to come together, to touch and agree. Amen. Yes, we yes, decree, yes. We decree, we declare it. We decree and we declare it done worldwide. Worldwide. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, yes. can, God can do it. Amen. Yes, yes, he can. Believe him with all of our heart, soul, and and mine. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Richards. Glory to God. God bless you, Dr. Amen. Baker. At this time, Amen. at this time, I know we, we've, we've, we've held on to you a little longer than we intended, but we thank you all so much for being so faithful and, uh, and sticking with us. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into the, uh, jump straight into the door prize. I'm going to bring Pastor uh, Gregory Williams from the Madeline Law Group back as he will uh, he will announce the winners of the uh, the gift card and the and the uh, flat screen TV. Yes, uh, Pastor William, you're with us. Go right ahead. Yes, please. sir. Always, uh, sir. Um, Miss Mistress Hazel Mirage does have three gifts for us. I'm not sure if she's. She should be still there. And Dr. Baker, did everyone able to get their name in the join? Was it able, was there? I know you had mentioned uh, Pastor Christine Baker was going to be collecting the names. Yeah, everything's fine, Doc. We, we got it. We got it on this end. We got it on that end. Okay, <laughs> yeah. wonderful. Yeah. I know you, are, you, are, you take care of business. Go, go ahead, Pastor William. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Baker, Dr. Maurice. And Lady Baker has sent over the winners. And the winner of the very first gift, the first name that was pulled, and the first winner is none other than Andrea Banner. Wow. Andrea Banner. Is she here? Uh, she's in Jamaica. She's probably still online. Andrea, would you speak up? We just want to we want to capture you on the video. Can you turn your um your mic on? Yes, she is. Yeah, just turn your mic on we so we can capture you on the video. Andrea, congratulations on behalf of the Madelon Law Firm. We're so proud to present to you a Cheesecake Factory um gift card. And it's a $25 gift card and uh, hopefully you enjoy it, and uh, thank you for being a part of tonight's uh, prayer gathering. God bless you. And our next winner, it, it, did she want to say something? Yeah, she has, she has to unmute. Yeah, I see her right there. Okay. There she is. Yes, I was saying thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless you, ma'am. Thank you. God bless. Dr. Baker and Dr. Roosevelt, make sure this gets to you swiftly. And the, the next winner uh, is none other than uh, Reverend Dr. Darrell Baker, Sr. Wow. And, and oh. Praise God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Congratulations. Congratulations, my dear friend. Um, Thank you. On, on behalf of the Madeline Law Firm, we're proud to present to you a red, $25 Red Lobster gift card. And uh, enjoy. All right. Thank you. Thank now, you. I, I know Dr. You. Baker, time is of the essence, so we're ready for the big prize. And the big prize, drum roll, please. 
Big prize goes to the flat screen TV, 32 inch smart television. Goes to none other than someone by the name of, the biblical name of Ruth. iPhone Ruth. Ruth's iPhone. Are you there, Ruth? Unmute yourself and say yes. something. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Congratulations yes. on behalf Thank of you. Dr. Baker and, and, and also Dr. Maurice and the Madeline <laughs> Law Firm. You the All winner, right. girl. <laughs> oh, wow. God is good. God is good. Amen. <laughs> Thank we'll you, Sister this. Carney Wright, for inviting me to be in this program. Well, you were in the right place at the right time. Are you, Thank yes, you, Dr. Are. Baker. Are you from the Manor Church? I'm sorry? Are you from the Lauderdale Manor Church of the Nazarene? No, I'm from okay. Living Water Church of God, but I happen okay, to be. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. You're oh, fine. Okay. I'll make sure you get it, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Thank Baker. You. Thank you, Dr. Baker. Congratulations, Ruth. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Sister Wright. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, Ms. Hazel, are you there? Was she able to get her prizes in? Hazel, back to, we have to find a way how to send that back to the participant, Dr. Baker. Ms. Hazel, are you there? All right, so we'll collect those names and try and hand it over again. Uh, Pastor Christine Baker, you'll be in charge of that, okay? Dr. Dr. Rutherford. Yes. I I did tell you we had this uh, under control. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know why you keep visiting in my department. Uh, uh, but anyway, we we uh, we we pulled three names. Okay. We pulled three names, and so we will uh, we will need to get in touch with our our dear sister to pick up those three baskets that she uh, promised us will be made available. Uh, the three names are um, all I have is Fagan. Is Fagan there? Fagan? Yes, I believe he's from Grace I'm, Church. I'm here. Uh, good night, Reverend Baker. Good to see you. Good to see you. Bless you, my brother. Well, you are, you're one of the winners. Congratulations. Thank you very much. The, the, uh, the, the second person is Sammy Kali. Sammy Kali. Sammy, you there? No, no, Sammy. Sammy. God bless. Yes, yes. Sammy, you're there. You're there. Sammy Kali. Just speak up. Speak up. We want to make sure you're present. <laughs> okay. I said you're. <laughs> it looked like he's unable to uh, mute, but we'll, we'll take care of that. And the uh, last one is uh, the third, the third gift basket, Dr. Rutherford, is Julian Plummer. Junior, wow, yes. Julian, <laughs> Julian, Julian Plummer. Well, hello, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> God bless you, God bless you, God, God bless, bless you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Julian, okay, I'll make sure you yes. get Okay. Amen. We, we, we thank you. Thank you so much for your participation this evening. Dr. No. Rutherford, that concludes our uh, outdoor prizes. Now, now you can make your uh, brief, brief final remarks. Yeah. Uh, we do want to let these dear folks get in bed. So uh, you, got, you got less than five minutes. Go right ahead. Now, Dr. Baker, Everyone who is listening, everyone, wherever you are, I am excited. I'm truly excited. You know, I, I, I prayed and I said, Lord, this is our first time. So we leave it in your hand. And believe me, I am overexcited. It is well done. It is well done. And I, so many people, I didn't even know they were able to get on. Some were able to get on and get off. Brother Spalling, I hope you're still there. Brother Spalling from Grace Church. And to everyone, everyone who is listening, I am not going to take any more of your time. All I need for you to do tomorrow morning 
you join me on the air at six, I'll be there from six until 8 a.m. I promise you, I'll be talking more about it then. Also, I want to remind you, tomorrow morning, Lauderdale Church of the Nazarene, they have some great vegetables. Uh, trust me, please go and get a box. They want everyone to come by and collect a box of good vegetables. Pastor Terrell and the entire membership, Pastor Terrell Scott, I, I am so blessed. I'm really blessed to see the participation from your church. And I'm not going to be able to call every church. I also want to remind our audience that tomorrow at 2 p.m., All Nation New Testament Church of God, my church, we will be serving also. They're going to be serving some good food over there. So 2 p.m., you stop over at 4351 West Oakland Park Boulevard in Lauderdale Lakes. They start at 2. The Lauderdale Manor Church of the Nazarene start at 10 a.m., 1518 Northwest 15th Avenue in Lauderdale. And, oh my Lord, I'm excited, Dr. Baker. Dr. Baker, I am so blessed when God has joined us together. It is, even this time, we're still going for it. I did not realize that we could still do it. And I, I can only see next year going to be better. Apostle Dr. Son, I hope you're still there. All the wonderful members, Reverend Jackie, Grace Church, and Pastor Brazil, I know you weren't able to make it. You know, we all, some people are afraid of the technology, but we got to learn it. So, Dr. Baker and your entire family, the Way Fellowship, uh, Pastor Gregory Williams, or oh, the Madeline Law Firm, please, tomorrow morning, I would love to join if it's possible to tell people about the um, the great uh, Madeline Law Firm. So please join me. What else must I say, Dr. Baker? I, I have a full load of things to say. I got what, 30 seconds left? <laughs> I really feel blessed. My soul is blessed. Um, uh, Sister Andre over there in Jamaica, please continue. Evangelist Phyllis White, sorry we didn't get your voice on the air the way we should, but you are there. And to all the people, who do I leave, Dr. Baker? And of course, I said to my wife and everyone, all my special friend who is on the air, Sister Marjorie Cross, I know we didn't get us to say anything, but I know you're there. Who is Dr. Bacon? Jesus. Well, Jesus. Well, let me tell you, folks, <laughs> I had a great night. I hope you did too. The Lord has blessed us with your presence, and we are so pleased and happy. Dr. Mandela, I want to thank you for participating also. And um, Ms. Hazel, We'll continue to spread the word. I know you probably left, but we will make sure all our winners get their gift basket. Dr. Baker, I, I think I've done it enough here. If you want to go ahead, I, I, is my wife is still there? If she want, if she's there and she can, she want to just pray a short closing prayer. I wasn't able to get my bishop, Bishop Dr. Evan Grant. I believe they said have some connection problem and so many people called me and said they have connection problem we're sorry it's our first time and believe me we had a great time so god bless you evangelist clover are you still there can you hear me doc yes good night to each and everyone first i want to thank you all for really joining tonight you know that you can come together in oneness so just going to pray a little short um, closing prayer. Father, we thank you tonight, Lord, for your goodness and mercy. We thank you tonight, Lord, for each and every one who were on the line, the pastors and all the people in all over the world who were here tonight. Father, we just ask the Lord to continue to bless them, continue to provide for them, Lord, continue to keep a watch over them, Lord. We just thank you tonight, Lord, for the good times that we really have on this land. Lord, we felt your anointing, dear Father, and we just ask you to continue, Lord God Almighty, to guide us and protect us, mighty God, because, Lord, we are living in a perilous time. And, mighty God, without you, we cannot do anything. So we're just asking you tonight to draw us closer, Lord. Uplift us, Lord God Almighty. 
help us, dear Father, to stand on your word, to believe in what you have, you have said us and what you have called us to do, Lord. So we just ask that tonight, as each and every one go their respective way, Lord, I just ask that to cover them under your blood, Jesus. We plead the blood against every principality of darkness, mighty God. And we send back the, the wicked adversary to the pit of hell. Oh, God Almighty, you said when you see the blood, you will pass over us. So tonight, we just thank you, dear Lord. Thank you for my dear husband. Thank you for Dr. Baker. Thank you for each and every one of the pastors, oh God, who take their, um, who participate, participate in this, this great event tonight, dear Father. Continue to strengthen them, Lord. Lead them and direct them, and direct them oh God. We just pray, dear Father, that you, mighty God, We'll get the glory because the glory belongs to you. So bless each and every one now. Cover us again under your blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless you all. And uh, some of you I'm just meeting for the very first time. And it seems like I've been knowing you for a while. Looking forward to as this pandemic, uh, this cloud uh, passes by. Looking forward to seeing you all in person. Have a, have a blessed week and continue to uh, keep looking up because guess what? The best is still yet to come. God bless you all. God bless. God bless. Have a blessed night, everyone. Oh, God bless. Oh, by, by, by the way, if any of you are interested in getting a copy of the video, just, uh, just inbox me through text message. You should have it. You should have my number, and I'll send it to you. Okay? God bless you all. God bless. God bless. Take care. Bye. God bless y'all. Good night. Good night. Great job. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless everyone. Thank God bless. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Carly, you there? Huh? Are you still there, Minister Carly? Yes, I am. Okay. Anything you want to say real quick? <laughs> I just, I'm just giving God thanks, and what comes to my mind is just to see God's people coming together, regardless of denomination. It's one blood, so we give God thanks for the blood of Jesus Christ that connects us. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amen. Good, good night, folks. Good night. Good night, brother. Thank you. Good night. Amen. Just giving everyone a, a, some time to, to sign off before I close it down. If you back in a second, Dr. Baker. God bless you for this amazing, amazing 911 service for 2020. May he bless you and yours real, real good. Thank you for all that made it possible. Good night. Yes. God bless you.